What's up YouTube? Johnny here. Coming back for OTC review number 9. And today we're going to talk about Sir Walter Raleigh non-aromatic. It's a burly blend. It's been around for over 75 years. And they describe it as a mildly aromatic blend of burly tobaccos excellent for standalone use or blending. Smoke it in my K. Woody Prime Grain that I just got at a local antique store the other day. Great condition. Really enjoying that. But uh, as I talked about in my last video, a lot of people have really bad reviews uh, of this tobacco. So I wanted to find out what it was all about. It's really cheap. It's made by Lane Limited. Same people that make 1Q and Carter Hall and lots of other OTC blends and, and uh, bulk blends. And uh, it's very cheap. It was $271 for an ounce and a half pouch. It also comes in a 14 ounce tin uh, at my local Ingalls grocery store. And this is my second bag. I've been smoking quite a bit of this. And i got to say right off the bat that I disagree with those those reviews, those poor reviews. This is an excellent, excellent, excellent American Burley tobacco. And I'll get into that more in a second. The smell is uh, just your typical nutty, burly, burly smell. Uh, there, it says mildly aromatic, but I don't know what they may have top noted it with, but it's, it's indetectable to me. The... The cut, though, is where it really, really passes the the excellence test, in my opinion. You know, a lot of the cheap ODC blends are really finely chopped ribbons, and uh, but this is a very. Let's see if y'all can see that or not. I apologize for the glare. It is a beautiful Georgia day here, but it is a coarse, very coarse cut, burled up. You know, almost you know, rubbed into like tight twists. Uh, really good good quality and what that does is is that you can set your pipe down for a few minutes like I just did for a couple minutes and pick it right back up and it's still going and because of that, that twist you can pack it tighter than most burly uh, OTC blends that I've had and it smokes slower and more evenly so the bowl lasts longer and again you can set it down pick it right back up and you don't have to really relight. Uh, so all in all, I don't I don't know who has the bad reviews. Maybe they're the kind of people that don't like burly tobaccos at all. But this is a very solid, solid blend. In fact, I'm going to go on record here and say that this has become my favorite OTC blend. That's right. I think this is better than Carter Hall uh, in, in many ways. Uh, but. It is a very good, solid tobacco, and if you haven't tried it, uh, if you like burly tobaccos, you haven't tried it, maybe you've been scared off by the bad reviews, give this one a go. Cause I've really enjoyed it. But anyway, guys, that's my review. Uh, leave me your comments, what your experiences are with it. If you've got any questions, shoot them at me, and uh, I'll talk at y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Bye.